Hola queridos padres de familia y alumnos que me están viendo, les mando un saludo, la maestra Mervis les saluda. Eh, el texto que vamos a ver hoy es un texto que uh, tiene información, diálogo, uh, no es un texto de no ficción, es un texto uh, de una historia y entonces vamos a empezar para que ustedes sepan cómo, sepa, cómo pueden contestar el examen del estar. Ok, um, from, from Can Do, Jenny Archer by Ellen Comfort. Ok, I had some exciting news class, said Mrs. Spike. It was almost lunchtime and Jenny Archer was starving. She drew a piece of apple pie in her notebook. Sometimes... Mrs. Pike's exciting news wasn't very exciting. Okay, the first thing that you have to do is that you have to underline who, what, where, how, when. Um, so I have some exciting news. Who? I. So I want to underline it here. Some exciting news. Who said that? Said Mrs. Mrs. Pike, okay, and it was when, lunch time, and who, Jenny Archer was starving, that's important information, that's important, she drew a piece of apple, what did she do, she drew a piece of apple pie, okay, sometimes Mrs. Pike's exciting news wasn't very exciting, exciting, So, I want to underline that Mrs. Pike's exciting news wasn't very exciting. Okay, great. So, we're going to do this to every single paragraph. This is one. See, it has been numbered already. So, you can see this is the way it is. One, two, three. Okay, and we continue with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, until twenty-nine. Okay? So now, guys, I don't have time to underline everything right now because um I I don't have um that time to finish it. But you are supposed to do it all the time. And also remember that you may hear, you may draw what's going on with this character, with Jenny. Okay, you may draw Jenny starving um, and she how she was drawing a piece of apple pie in her notebook. Um, so you may draw that or you may write some keywords. Okay, for example, um, here is about Pike's news and um, what else? Jenny was what? And Jenny was starving. Okay, so you may write those words there. This is going to help you guys when you answer the questions because you won't have to read the whole thing again. It, this, is, this, this is very important. Um, it's going to tell you the main idea of each paragraph, actually. Okay, so let's continue with the questions. Okay, we're going to start with number one. Oh, excuse me. Okay, number one. We want to start with number one here. Where is number one? Okay, so let's start with this one. This is supposed to be number one. Okay, look at this chart. If you see a chart like this, that means sequencing, okay? So what you need to do is that you need to do the sandwich technique that I taught you before, remember? So this, you're, going, you're not going to choose this one, guys. Forget about this one. You're going to choose the, this one, 
and I want to choose another color green now okay, let's do baby blue okay and this one okay the one at the at the bottom okay those are going to be the pieces of bread and this is going to be the ham that we are looking for we don't have that information there we had to look for it so here what you're going to do is scanning actually we are going to look for jenny um imagines herself as a movie actress we want to start with that one don't jump to the next one don't rush okay so jenny imagines herself as a movie actress and we go back and we do scanning let's see where that information is jenny 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 mm -hmm. I'm doing a scanning with my eyes right now because I can't, I don't have a pencil with me. Jenny, actress. Okay, here it is. Okay. Okay, here it is. A video cam recorder is a small device that is both a camera and a video recorder that records picture and sound. And then me, a movie star, Jenny thought. Now, that was exciting. She pictured herself. It's the same thing as imagine. She pictured herself. Okay, so this is the bread on the top. So here, what we're going to do is that we're going to mark it. You can use whatever you want to mark it. I want to use a cross, okay? And I want to highlight it because I can't do much here okay and now I'm going back to my sandwich okay and I want to look for the piece of bread that is at the bottom Jenny and Beth agree not to fight and then I go back Jenny and cool and Beth agree not to fight okay let's look for that one it has to be after this part so let's see. Okay, I'm reading, I'm reading. When I win the contest, Jenny said. What if I win the contest, Beth said. But I had to win, answered Jenny. I always wanted to make a movie. Since when? Since when? Well, I just realized it now, Jenny admitted. But don't you think I would make a good director? It's right here. Jenny didn't want to find with her. Beth was one of Jenny's two best friends. But she really wanted him. She wanted to win this contest. She just had to direct the class movie. Mm -hmm. Let's not fight, Jenny said. You are right, right here. You're right, Beth Green. We won't fight. We won't fight. Let's just say, may the best uh, King Collector win. Okay, here is. So I'm going to put another cross there. And I'm going to highlight it. Okay. Now the ham is supposed to be in the middle of these crosses, see? You can use asterisk or anything you want. I just want you to know where uh, the information is. Okay, so now let's look for the part that is in the middle of those um, paragraphs. So, and I want to review, I mean, I want to read my answers just in case if you know which detail from the story belongs in the empty box of course we are going to underline who what where which what which detail from the story belongs in the empty box we already know what we're going to do jenny remembers watching a film strip jenny makes a drawing in her notebook jenny 
tells Beth she wants to make a movie or Jenny and Beth shake hands with, with each other. So let's see what's going to happen here. We go back. And let's see if let's see if F is there. Jenny remembers watching a film strip. Film strip. Okay. Let's see. Jenny remember that. Um, the person in the class who bring the most hands will direct the first movie. Wow. Direct the movie might be even better than starring in one. Um, the director could make the whole. I don't see anything. Uh, that is related to that answer. Uh -uh. Okay, so I will put an X because that's not, it's not there. Okay, Jenny makes a drawing in her notebook. Is that true? Let's see. I don't see that information here. She was good at telling people what to do. She was sure she would be a great director. Where is the notebook? I'm looking for the word notebook. I don't see it. No, it's not there. Okay, and then I put X here. Jenny tells Beth she wants to make a movie, a movie. So let's see if it's there. Okay, the director could make up the whole story. She will choose the actors. Uh, she looked over at her friend Beth. Beth's eyes were bright. She thought it was a great idea too. And then, well, I just realized it now. Jenny admitted. Okay. Okay. She wants to make a movie. Where it is? Okay, here it is. But I had to win, answered Jenny. I've always wanted to make a movie. Here it is. That is an M. That means maybe, right? This is hard to do because it's tedious. Tedious means that it's a lot of work, but you have to do it like this. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to get it right because sequencing and summary are not, um, I don't, uh, they are not easy, okay? They are no easy questions. So Jenny and Beth shake hands with each other. Is that true? Mm, yes, they did, but it was after, after this. After, you're right, Beth Green, we won't fight. It was after this mark, so that, that is not the one. That's a, that's a trick. So that's X. So the answer here is H. See how it is? You may have one that is right there under the last sentence of the last piece of bread under this one. And that's not the one. It has to be in the middle. In the middle, okay? En la mitad. Okay. So another one I want to do is the summary, okay? Let's do one that is about the summary. The summary of this story. And this is not easy. So what is the best summary in this story? So that's what you're going to do here. So you will have many answers. You will have A. I want to separate these answers. Okay. All right. So when you have a summary, guys, you have to do something different. That is not a sandwich and don't get hungry because <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Okay. The best summary of this story is a Jenny. Sorry. Jenny's teacher tells the class that she has exciting news. Okay. If you read this 10,000 times, A, B, C, and, and D, even if you read it a million of times, you will never get it. This is the trick. 